In this Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop and splice text here in Canva. So the first thing you need to do is get the text that you want onto your page. So we're going to click add a heading. I'm going to change this font to one with a little more character. And then I'm going to make sure that it's also the bold version. Perfect. So let's write the word splice because that seems to be what everyone does. So we'll click splice here. We'll kind of scale it up. And we've got this big... Uh, set of text here and I accidentally duplicated it. There we go. So we've got splice written out here. Now what we have to do is actually export this as a vector graphic and bring it back in. So we're going to click on the splice here, share, go to download, and then we're going to go to SVG instead of PNG. You got to use SVG vector graphics for this. You can use PNG for free if you want, but SVG is going to give you that vector that is infinitely scalable, so you're not going to lose quality. Yes, it's a Canva Pro feature. You can try it for free in the link in the description. Make sure you have transparent background check marked, and we're going to download. It'll go to wherever your downloads folder is, so just go find that folder. You can actually click and drag it right into, well, not the whole folder. We're going to click and drag this specific uh, file into our document. So now what you'll see here is we still have the text, and then we have this piece, which is basically the entire document uh, exported out as a vector graphic. What we can do is kind of scale this up a little, and you'll see that we still have the vector attributes of the color selection, so we can change that color to whatever we want. We also can crop this image, and so if we crop it, we can actually bring it down in size. We don't need all of the document space around it, and we can just crop it into the word. Now I can make a new page, I can work on this page, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that isn't editable anymore is the text itself. That's why you want to get the text to be the word that you want, and then export and bring it back in. So we're going to go ahead and add a new page. I'm just going to Command or Control C to copy this piece, and add a new page, Command or Control V. So now that we have this element, we can actually do a quick little splice of it here. So I've got this splice and I'm going to go to crop, and then we're going to crop about halfway into it. And you could easily splice like this. You could also even rotate. So within this crop, we have a rotation. So we could rotate a little bit if we wanted to as well. I just kind of position this where we want to splice our text. Now, once we get it to that point, let's see, I'm going to put it right in here, I think. Once we get it to that point, we can click off. And so you see we have like half our text. Well, we need the bottom half too, right? If we're going to splice this text. So what we're going to do is click on this piece, change it to a color that's super bright that you can see. This is going to be our guide for the next piece. And then we're going to right click and duplicate. And so we're going to click and drag this duplicate object right on top. Make sure it snaps into place. Should be exactly on top. Going to change that color back to the color we would want, like black. Then we're going to edit the crop of this top one to be actually cropping the bottom portion. So we're going to go to crop again. And then what we want to do here is just click and drag the crop area all the way down so it's uh, you know, showing all of the text. And then we're going to drag the top portion of it down. And you'll start to see that there is the pink version behind it. And so we want to line that up with the end of the pink version and let go. Now when we click off, we'll have this sort of spliced text. We've got pink on top. We can change that to whatever color we want, so we'll change it back to black. And then we can actually just move this bottom portion, whether you move it off or just bring it down or whatever, and you can move that so you actually have spliced the text. Now we're still a little bit rotated, so we could probably grab these two and rotate this piece back if we want to, uh, you know, so that your spliced text is still straight across, but the splice is kind of in between it. Or you don't have to do that. You can kind of keep it rotated. You also don't have to do that rotation. It just, you know, if you do want to do the rotation, it's a little bit harder, and I wanted to show you exactly how I would do it. So you can maybe offset this a little bit, use your arrow keys to bump it around, and that's how you can really splice text here in Canva.